Hey guys, how you all doing? Uh, so yeah, the um, the stadium pack is now ready. It was supposed to have been released early in this weekend, but I, um, I I've just been really busy, uh, unfortunately, so I've not been able to get on. So I decided to do a quick live, uh, show you guys what to do, and I'll do a proper installation video tomorrow um, for you to follow. But for now, I'm just going to show you quickly what's in the new update. Uh, so let's just open my FIFA 14 folder. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the uh, FIFA Infinity uh, Patch Download Center, and right at the bottom here, you'll have your links. Now you can download version. 3.05 from any one of those free links here but the stadiums currently are only in the Google Drive um, so if you have installed uh, bit 14 version 2 you can you don't need to install this folder uh, but if you haven't then you then you did it clean and started with fit 14 version 3 then you need to install this one and you need to install this one. Both of these are optional. Um, that means that you do not have to install them if you don't really want to use the stadium. Some of you don't have the space. You're looking at about 65 gigabytes, um, which is pretty big. Um, and yeah, so you might not want to download the stadiums. Uh, but you can still download version 3.05 and be able to, to use that. It's got some small updates in it, nothing major, but it's worth downloading anyway. Um, and, and that's that really. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it and so on. Um, I'll come back to your question shortly because I've got to uh, start copying the files over. It will take some time and whilst that's doing what it needs to do, I um, can answer your questions. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install the first stadium pack if you have to. I have to because I'm installing uh, onto a clean FIFA 14. So all you're going to need to do is you start by double clicking this file. And when you double click this file, it will actually install each part one by one and it will extract here. I've already done that because it will take a little while. Uh, so it will just give you a game folder here. Then you want to just drag that. And drop that here now I have no stadiums in here at all so nothing uh, gets copied over and it just goes straight into where it needs to go and just to show you that's so you will now have your crowd placement files your FX files and your stadium files here okay so the next one will take a little bit longer because I have oh and also I should show you and also in the UA UI folder it also places files here stadium files and also stadium speak so that's where both the the two files go uh, there's two areas that stadiums are installed the next pack same thing you double click on part one and it will extract from all three parts and again you just copy it over now this time when it starts calculating uh, the files and what it needs to copy it will come up with this warning now the reason this has happened is because since version 2 was released there's been some changes to the original stadiums that were supplied so this will now make it fully up to date with version uh, 3 and now all your stadiums will work with version 3 um, databases okay so that's the only way I could do it to try and keep the file sizes down uh, I hope you guys understand that uh, so yeah just click replace the files in the destination and it will go ahead and it will overwrite that okay so that's now done um that was pretty quick which is good hopefully it's as quick for you as it was for me and then finally uh you're going to have this file now you've probably seen in fact let me put this into a new folder uh, so you can see actually what is what happens so all you need to do here is you click here and you click extract here and it will start extracting all of the files now this what this does is it installs new databases 
and you're going to need to install these before you can use the stadiums you have to have this installed this update for you to use the stadiums but you do not have to install the stadiums if you install this update so to be clear no matter what you can install this version 305 update there's no problem with you installing it you won't have any issue with black stadiums or any of that stuff as long as you do not select the stadium database and I'll show you that shortly so here what we're going to do with all of the updates is pretty much a very similar thing you just drag your files here and you place them inside the FIFA 14 folder here you've got the install instructions so we'll quickly open that and it says unpack fit 14 free folder which I've already done double click the installer bat which I'm going to do shortly which is here and then you literally do what it needs you to do and then you regenerate and then you can play now that's one way of doing it the other uh, thing as well is that you obviously if you want to play with the stadiums you will first of all go and select the database that you want to play with and so on I will show you that shortly and just a little note here the database tag stad are used to activate the new stadiums failure to store the stadiums will result in black arenas as I've just said for many games when selecting these database stadium pack one and two require a separate download which I've I've just shown you how to do that all right so close that off we're just going to double click on here and hopefully after a short period of time you should have everything installed so now what you should see is when you go into the game folder you go to version manager and now what you will see is you will see all of your version uh, 3.03 files will be changed and you will now have new folders called v version 3.05 stat and if you want to play with the stadiums you can load these up all right I've just noticed here that I need to update this so it's good that I've done this live so I can update that and I will update that in a future release so everybody has the the correct file names but that's so that's it really so that's the difference so if you want to play with a stadium you select these and if you want to play with these then you select these that's simple as it go as simple as it gets and all of them are the same so this ver version 3.05 database is the same as this one the only difference is is this one you require the stadiums to be installed yeah so i hope that that makes sense now this the next step here is simple so i'm going to in install the original stadium database click apply click yes and click ok let's close that off i'm going to regenerate and whilst it's regenerating because it might take a little while because i've deleted a lot of files i will quickly show you uh, and i'll quickly catch you in the live right so let's see what you guys are saying so hello hello in brazil it's a uh, nice weather over here in england hello uh, i hope you're enjoying the um turkish language folk match uh i don't know how to say this but i think you're saying hello i don't know <laughs> but thank you love love fair uh 2021 fixtures if you mean the the updated ones no i still haven't done those they take a little while to do because the the reason why um so in fip 16 uh, scouts have made some schedules but Scouser's competition structure is different to mine. So what, what you've got is mine is, and, and I have bigger competitions, all that sort of stuff in Fit14. So what you've got is I had to go through every single league and I had to alter them. That's why you in, in, in Fit14 uh, you don't get too many clashes of, of games because I've gone through every single fixture and I've moved them so there's not really any clashes anywhere. Um but because i've done that and when i try to do schedules it's not as easy as it may seem so for example when i went to do the premier league um i have to remove lots of dates and i have to put them in different places and it just takes a little bit of time so i need to review that i'm not going to do that now until i've done the january transfers now a quick one on the january transfers because i'm sure someone will ask me um 
I've got we've got uh, one set of changes already done. So we've now got the Czech league is coming. That's going to be added. Uh, so that's going to be one that's going to be in there. Um, so that I hope you enjoy that. I'm also working on the Uruguay Championship. That's going to be added, and I think that that can be added now. So I'm going to look at that this week. But um, the reason why it's not done yet is because somebody else is actually doing all of the rest of the teams and they've just got to have some time to do that. For me, it's I'm really lucky in this scenario because all I have to do is convert the database from FIFA 21. Uh, so for me, that will only take me like a day to do that and then merge all of the stuff together. So that's not a big thing. So it's once it's ready, boom. Uh, it will be out for you guys to see. So yeah, regarding the fixtures, that will all be done at the same time. So there'll be like a massive update at some point. Um, and um, I'm not going to tell you what I was just about to say because I'm not supposed to tell you yet. But there's some more stuff coming in the future. So be aware. Uh, hey, Peter. Uh, thank you for the stage. No problem, guys. You know, the there's I've added about 105 to 110 new stadiums. Um, the stadium list actually is, I will show you, if you go into your FIFA 14 folder, if you go here and you go to the readme, there's a really important file this by the way, you should, if you ever have any problems, look here because I sometimes have the answers, but if you look here, I will actually tell you exactly what's been updated, um, so if you are, do ask for things, for example, you've asked about the fixtures if you look in this file you'll be able to tell if I've actually done it or not because I usually update it here but also I've outlined which stadiums are, are in what so you've got stadium pack one here and all of the stadiums that you've got in there which is quite a lot and then for stadium pack two uh, this is all of the stadiums that are in there too so there's about 105 to 110 stadiums um, I've added as many as I can for pretty much all of the big uh, clubs that are out there I th it's a really boring thing I think on another live I'll do some I'll actually show you what I have to do and you'll see that when you do like one at a time which is what a lot of modders do like you might see someone's put one up and you might do one one night it doesn't seem so much but when you do it like I do it you do them all in one go it just is really boring and I don't have the time to be able to do like a little bit of modding every day so I have to have like blocks of time and that's why sometimes things take long because stadiums are boring to add I'll be honest you know so yeah uh, right where are we so hi Harry when you go to see news about 15 16 stadiums uh, works in FIFA clearing the FX folder so what you're saying is if we remove the FX folder well the problem is though is um, stadiums are really boring to do now in in um, in fit 14 I've got a total I think I've added something like 350 stadiums maybe more um, and they just take so long. So there's no chance I'm going to be adding 350 stadiums for Fit 15. Um, I have no plans to add new stadiums for Fit 15. Um, even if they do work. It's simply because time, you know. Like I just don't have the time to do it. I, it's just one of those things. Fit, the, the interest in Fit 15 is really extremely low as well. Like even though I get asked a couple of times about it. It's just really low. Nobody plays the game. Um, so that's it uh, so the third team in Libertadores I don't understand what you mean Juan um, oh what have I missed there so Juan uh, I'm say H -R. are these stadiums from FIFA 21 not all of them I think there's been a couple of stadiums that have been converted from Switch some of the new ones uh, somebody asked me about Elland Road that's now been switched to the new ID uh, for, for FIFA 21 which is 432 uh, but it's the old one that I had as soon as they're available uh, they'll be converted but I'll be honest with you I can't see that Switch will be updated again so unless somebody makes it from scratch or finds a way to convert it from PC which I don't think is very easy at the moment you're not going to have them so yes there are some new ones uh, but there's only a few uh, I think there's the a couple of Spanish ones I think maybe an american one i can't remember i'm afraid uh unfortunately it all becomes a uh, bro uh, i've already answered about winter transfers 
Hi in Turkey, best fans. All right, mate. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it at least. Uh, da -da, da -da -da -da. I can't understand Turkish. Uh, will we have the stadium's database today? I just showed you, my friend. This is what this live is about. Um, some Turkish chat going on here. Uh, could you change the Champions League final to a neutral venue, community shield neutral venue, etc.? Um, so, well, the problem you've got is that no matter what I do, um, the, there's there's nothing. I, I'm not going to change it currently. So, for the ones that don't have stadiums. I I haven't done that or have I done that? I think I have done that. I think I have done it. It should be a neutral venue. If it isn't in the the original one, that's fine. In this one, in the stadium's database, it's definitely a neutral venue. In fact, the finals should take place at they at where they should take for a lot of the places, so a lot of the cups around the world, including Champions League, Community Shield and so on, should take place in the stadiums that uh, that they're supposed to be in so it's uh, yeah, I think this season it's Ataturk Stadium uh, the final was wasn't it for the Super Cup I think I can't remember I guess see this is the thing with stadiums I just forget I, I don't I'll be honest with you guys I don't care about stadiums I'm just putting that out there I just don't it's not of any interest to me at all I only do it for you guys so I am not the best person to ask. Gonzaga is the best person to ask. He knows, but I just don't. I just had them. Um, I really don't don't care. So that's my point. But yes, there should be a neutral stadium for that. If there isn't neutral stadiums in the other packs, the original ones that I've done, when I do this winter transfers, I'll have a quick review of that stuff and I will make sure that they are neutral. So Elton, that's what I will do. Okay. Hey Ants, hope you are well. Uh, 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 can you send me the unconverted fixture list? No, I cannot. I do not send anybody any files anymore. And the reason I don't send anybody any files is because um, of all the channels that keep stealing uh, my content, that keep pretending that they that they own the content, pretending that they create it. They never give any credit. They never tell anyone. Sometimes there are even websites that people post up and they use pay links and all that. There's so many people that are trying to make money out of our content and the time that we spend putting it together that we've now made a decision that we just won't share files with people because you just never know who's going to do what. It's it's a shame, and it's it's a shame that the community's gone like that, but because we have so many people that are just out there just for money and money alone, um, it's just unfair, you know? It's just, you know, it's just not on. It, and that's just how it is, I'm afraid. So sorry for things like that. You may be, just be a nice guy who just wants to list, but, you know... It's not really going to help you anyway. You're going to have too many clashes uh, unless you really know how to uh, change that sort of stuff. Uh, Harry, I want to ask you a question. I can install the markers of money. Each marker is suitable for each league. If school board X does not work on my computer. So, uh, Lewis, um, what you need to do, Lewis, if you can, can you write a comment on... Uh, um, to me and tell me what operating system you have um what your problem is and all that stuff the best place to comment is on discord so if you go to let me just grab the discord server so um if you go to where did i put it <clears throat> No, it's not there. No, not there. I'll put on Discord. It should be at the bottom here. There we go. So, there. Uh, Lewis. Go here and and comment what issue you have. Okay. 
Right, so next thing, Harry, I simply love your work. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we did. And I think it's very fair. Uh, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we did. And um, we also won today as well. So I'm really happy. Um, I, I, Arsenal are a very difficult team to watch. And I know Benfica are not having the best of, te best of seasons either. I think you're fourth or something. Uh, but... I think I think we deserve to win, but you're very good. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I think that was our final. I don't think we'll go, we'll beat Olympia because I just have that feeling. So yeah, but I hope you have a better end to the season, and I hope you enjoy playing the mods as you go. Uh, round two of Sudamericana. So round two is um, what happened was when I when I first released the mod. Um, the issue was is that when it was trying to populate the teams, the game was getting confused um, is the easiest way to explain it. So I had to remove the round because it just couldn't populate. I just didn't have enough teams uh, available in the pool for it to populate. And for some reason, it was OK for most seasons. But just for, for after time, it just wouldn't load up those teams anymore. It was very strange, very really difficult uh, bug and the only way I could fix it is by removing round two um, it will be something that I come back to uh, but for now no uh, it's been uh, removed uh, hi did everything according to the instructions put the step free update but did the regeneration nothing appears well you'd watched me do it right so I've just regenerated so you watch me do it so go here we're going to go to version manager, select the database here, click apply, click yes, okay, then we're going to regenerate, let's have a look shall we, okay. Right, so that's regenerated. Let's have a look. If they don't appear, um, let me think. Why would they not appear? Actually, I think I know why. I, I, yeah, you're right. They won't appear because. I have to what do I have to do this is why it's good to do this live because I normally fix these issues yeah they won't appear because I haven't updated the stadium list yet you're right they won't appear okay you are correct yes you are correct um, I will remove the files for download and I'll quickly update the stadium I'll show you now what I have to do actually so basically what's happened is is on the stadium list here you've got the stadium assignments that I have here and all of these need to be updated and you've also got uh, the team stadium links here and these have to be updated and I haven't imported those into the database so I'm going to do that um, I'll, pro I'll probably do this uh, do you want me to do it now whilst I'm doing the video I may as well so what I have to do is might as well show you how you do stuff so when problems like this occur what you have to do is you have to open the database uh -huh. okay now next thing I have to do okay cool
Okay, right, so what we're going to do is go here, Team Stadium Links, click on here, Stadium Links, click Save. Okay, now Okay, sorry for the, the silence, but uh, yeah, just wanted to quickly update that. So that's me now adding the Stadium of Science. Completely forgot to do it. Uh, so I'm really glad I did this live because I had lots of messages tomorrow saying, hey, you haven't done this. So as you can see, uh, I'm going to have to do that with all the other databases. Uh, but before I do that, I'll quickly open it up so you can see what to expect. And then I'll put a notification out on the community to show you when that's been updated. Uh, so now what you should get <clears throat> yeah so as you see here Mohammed um, you should be able to see now that that change that I just created you should now be able to see all of the new stadiums uh, but hold fire um, that's okay, no problem. I, I don't mind people talking different languages. It's not a problem at all. Harry, can you tell us when can we expect winter transfers? Uh, I don't know. It's up, up to other people, my friends. Can you check Savannah Svets? The kits, kit numbers have wrong colour and there's duplicated logo on kits. All right, yeah, no problem. Um, yes, it does contain all the state. If you, if you don't have version 2, don't have version 2 uh, installed, then you have to install both packs. If you have version 2 installed, then you only have to install pack 2. So, when we go to kickoff, um, what you should have now is when you go to the stadium, you should have a big list of stadiums. He says. Mm -mm -mm. Are they in there? I don't think they're in there, are they? Because I haven't updated. What have I not done? Huh. Because I have to update the log files. That's annoying, isn't it, everybody? Okay, so I do not have the correct files in place, it looks like. That's really annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That's what happens sometimes. We all make mistakes, and uh, that's just one of those things. All right, so I'm going to have to update that. Um, I know what the problem is. I just need to go through now and update it so that the, they're actually added to the list. Um, but basically what the problem is, is if I go to uh, here, what I need to do now is I need to do this. So, get that. that go okay. right so what I need to do is take all of these as you can see there are a lot we 
that here. Fun this, isn't it? Watching me live edit uh, my error. Uh, what should we? Let's go to here. Open that up. Paste in there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to actually update the database directly. This is not not going to be the final, but this will be show you just so you know that the stadiums are there. Um, there we go stadiums. Okay, is that saved? Try again, shall we? I need to regenerate. Right, so this time we should be able to see a bigger list of stadiums. Uh, hopefully, he says. <laughs> this is what happens when you've had a very busy weekend and you're trying to do everything very quickly and you're trying to get everything out for everybody and you rush it and then you forget to do stuff and so you end up having to do it again. Uh, because you were silly and you didn't do it properly in the first place. Right, let's see what we've got in here now then. So we should now have a lot more. So you've got the Maricana now, playable. <sighs> yeah, that's better, isn't it? So, we've got uh, Jose Valde, Valde, Bonera, Chichen Large Olympic, da -da -da. Molten Roads, Metalist Stadium, Municipal. So there are loads. There are loads absolutely loads uh, which one shall I choose got soccer city stadium let's go here because that wasn't the game originally so as it's a new stadium it takes uh, sometimes they're quick they load quickly and sometimes they take a bit lo a little bit longer it all depends on the size of this st the stadium itself uh, it takes me a little while but as it loads up you should now be able to see that we now got a brand new stadium so i'm going to go back i'm going to update those databases i'm going to then uh you know re-upload the files and um i will give you a, give you a shout when i'm ready um, it'll take me a little while to do it um but at least you can see that it is possible that it can be done it can be updated um, and that all the stadiums will be there. It's just that I have to update the databases again. Very frustrating for me, uh, but that's what happens when you do not do it properly in the first place. So um, let's have a look and see what you're asking. I'm going to show you Savannah Spencer in a minute. Um, career mode works fine, yes. Um, it won't. Okay, so. Um, yes, career mode works fine. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to update all of the... Uh, you start with version 3. Um, if you are, are going to install the stadiums, it's going to take you quite some time to install everything. You're looking at a final size of about 65 gigabytes. Rain and Castle League 1 format. No, the, 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 um, these leagues... so. The leagues which have, um, like the Castle Liga and um, some other ones like Danish League and so on, I removed that those because they, with with certain league structures, the um, what happens is is one it doesn't pay out the prize money as it should. Um, it just FIFA 14 just won't let me do it, and two. It, it's completely pointless and you do not get the correct winners so for example if you're playing as Cluj and you win the league section 
but then you do not win the playoffs, you're still crowned as champions. And as much as that's fine in real life, there's no way to make the game understand that really that's not really what's happening. So for space reasons, and so that I could add all of the different types of competitions and all of the extra stuff for all around the world, because you've got to remember this, this is not a specific mod for specific leagues this is a mod that is for every league around the world and trying to give everybody the best chance of playing in the league that they like um, so that's why that's missing um, so yeah that's why the playoffs are missing and that, there's a few leagues like Poland do not have it either I just removed them uh, I've also removed the, the replays from some competitions it's also we can just have the best experience across all leagues basically um, I hope that answers your question. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, did I? And I hope you can understand me. Uh, it's really difficult to try to communicate uh, like this, of course. I don't always understand everyone, and at the moment I try to answer everybody if I can. Um, but it's not easy, my friends. Uh, right, where are we? Uh, what am I looking for? Of the Czech Republic. So Okay. Uh, that's just the way that it is, you know, it doesn't really matter, does it, at the end of the day, what day they play on. Um, the the game is just set up for, you, you have to remember that the game is set up to play for multiple seasons. So, when I set it up, I can't set it up so that it's 100% you play the same teams on the same day. Um, it just doesn't work like that, it's not, it does, just doesn't work. Um, you you can't do that because what happens is, is then the following season you will have to play exactly the same teams again so it doesn't work uh, does not work I just showed you that what I had to do to fix it so um, there you go very much discussion Fred do you plan to work with him especially since he mentioned your name a lot as one of the biggest FIFA patch creators and he wants to follow your path yeah, yeah, I am. I, I, um, we've talked about it, and I think those guys are doing a really, really good job, actually. And I actually haven't added certain stuff to the mod because they're doing like music, and I might add music anyway, but they're doing it, and I haven't added the music yet, just because, you know, I do want younger people to 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 do this stuff and take over and all that. I don't want to to just leave everybody, you know, alone. So. Yeah, I will work with them on the revival mod a little bit, um, and and all it comes down to really, as long as they make their own teams, um, and and they create the team, you know, create the databases uh, as if they were making it just completely from scratch and it's their own work. Um, then yeah, great, of course, man, of course, always happy to help with people. Um, so yeah, I just showing you guys what I have to do. Um, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to update those databases. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go through and I'm going to check it. And if you look at the community tab, I will update everybody when it's been updated. Uh, can you make partisan Serbian team? I'm not going to add partisan. I, d I didn't mean not to add partisan, actually. Um, what happened was is uh, when I was making the teams I meant to make like the derby teams and stuff like that and 
at some point I just forgot to do it and now I, there's very little chance that I'm going to be adding any new teams uh, to the to the mod um, maybe after the January tra transfers I might come back and then decide right there's going to be like a permanent set of teams that will be in the mod um, for, for anybody who takes over from me uh, so you might find that you have partisan and then other derbies will always have those teams but for now no I'm not going to add them in just yet um, what about the commentary Harry is it possible to update the commentary so that the new players who were not in FIFA can be included during match commentary please so the only way that I can do that is by adding fake names <clears throat> and that's not very easy to do um, and it's a manual job I have to go through and I have to find names that are suitable and so no it's not something that I can do easily um, at least uh, should stay will be in it yes it will so let's have a look so you're saying uh, that there is a problem with the numbers on the shirts is there so the goalkeeper looks all right So that's obviously wrong, isn't it? So those need to be updated. No problem. I don't know why they're not there. It's the wrong colour. Okay. I will fix that. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I will fix. Okay, I will, I will fix that in this update. Oh no, I can't. Um, I can't update it in this update because it will need to wait until I've done the kits. So I will show you how to change it, yeah? So what you need to do is choose the database that you want to play in open up CM15 so we've got this database open and I'll make sure this is done properly but you can do it for now if you want so what you want to do is you go into the kits should be red and this should be red so you can do that for now and then that will make sure that you've got red numbers okay and I think that's okay so that's cool and you just go here click save all right now whenever you any of you guys are using CM15 or CM14 what you then do is you go back to the game here you go to tournament manager here and then you just click install career mode comp data and click OK and what that will do is it will make sure you don't mess up your career mode um, or your new career mode I should say you don't do that if you've got a career mode already going uh, you can't make changes like that anyway um, so yeah that's how you do it so you go in there and then you just play and then when you go back into the game uh, you'll be able to see the numbers. Should I show you how that works? Shall I? May as well. May as well, my friends. Right. What else is going on down here? And these two. Yes, they are. It's white and said yes. Just yes, yes, Harry. Without the patch, my game doesn't stutter. But with it, there's micro stuttering at random times. One every 20 minutes. Um, so what you could do is what you could try is this right so go to your uh, I'll select here what you could do is go to your documents folder go to FIFA 14 go to instance here and you've got this file replay 0.bin yeah and as you see mine is 0 kilobytes 
so what you do is you go to a text file go to notepad file save as save that to your desktop yeah and what you want to call it replay zero dot bin okay let's start save that down to your desktop and then what you can then do is you can take that file from your desktop and you could put it here and that will permanently um, keep it as zero kilobytes as long as you do this one thing so what you then do is you right click on it go to properties and just click read only click apply OK and then you copy it over now I'm not, I can't copy it over because I've got the game open but that's what you can do I hope you followed that um, and that's what you can do that might help with your stuttering try it out um, it definitely does help when you're playing a game all right so let's quickly have a look at Savinia's Vesda I'm expecting the numbers will and then the name um, will not be the correct color but this is the the best thing that I can do for right now um, on the database there is another way you can use Lua files to change it uh, but I can't do that for you right at this moment uh, so let's go to Serbia again Uh, hello from Brazil. Hello. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have have we to follow these steps you made for the stadium pack and other eventual fixes too? So, yeah, basically what I just showed you for the stadium packs is the same thing that you need to do. Every pretty much every update will have the same thing. You drag the files over. You double click on the installer. It does what it needs to do. And then you play the game basically that's there's pretty much it it's supposed to be as simple as possible it's the only way i could think of to make it really simple uh, sometimes the installer will remove files and move files around uh, so i know that no matter what whatever you guys do it will take control of that and it's certainly working because i'm not getting some of the questions that i got with version 2 um so it, it it's definitely working um yeah so i hope that answers your question so basically uh let's see if it worked so there we go boom happy 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 days all right so i will get that updated in a future version um any other the kits are having a massive massive overhaul um for for the january transfers there have been lots of releases from fifa 21 uh so yeah that's the plan the, the, i'm going to go through every single kit and i'm going to change those uh, i just got to work out uh, the order okay how duh, 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 duh. Uh, and uh, it's last year kits bro please yes um i just said about kits that should probably as long as it's in fifa 21 it'll get updated um that's the plan or if you could um add partisan it'd be nice whatever yeah i mean i can't I, like i said i can't really add partisan at this moment do, do you know where it is chaps it's just about time like i have to have time to do stuff and as you saw there that small change just at the stadiums that's going to take me a few minutes and then I now have to do it six times and then I have to re-upload everything and by the time that's all finished it's probably going to take me about an hour and a half just to do that small thing um, plus of course I'm then going to have to make the videos and I prefer to make the videos because it's the only way that I can help my channel from having its content stolen by getting it out there before anyone else does um, so yeah that's why so exclusive stadium is the one converted from FIFA 6 or made from scratch um, I you'd have to speak to whoever created it I have no idea I've got the credits list but um, I have no idea who created it I think it was converted but I have no idea do you know when I open uh, my youth team in career mode game is crashed no I don't uh, I have no idea why that is happening um, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to tell me um, what database you're using 
um, what language you're using and what version are you using because that's really important if you're using like 3.01 there may be something in it that's changed that may have caused that so you just need to give me more information if you can uh, like I can follow the link that's up here and go to our discord and uh, you'll be able to uh, to make comments there and I'll be able to try and help you out there uh, yes I've seen that update oh, I can't read that very happy once again good 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 happy days I wanted to re-edit a new player that I've already created in the way you showed but when I do that uh, the changes do not apply what should I do so is this a player that you created in game or was it in creation master if it's in creation master um, what happen, What you have to do is you, you have to be really careful of this file so if you go to the documents folder on your PC documents you go to FIFA 14 you'll see here I don't have a squad file in here and so what happens is if I have a squad file in there you you sometimes can add a new database and so on and then you have the squad file let me show you so in FIFA 21 we've got I should have one there so you've got like a squads file in your FIFA 14 folder you want to delete that file um, and because what you may have done is you may have changed something in game and what's happening is you're getting a clash between the squad file and the database so you need to have it clean no nothing nothing in game anything you want to do with these mods is best to use the software outside of the game do all your changes and then bring it into the game don't, don't do anything in game There's, it's just pointless you have better control as well if you use CM15. Hope that makes sense. Yes, English if possible, guys. Um, if you can't understand me when I'm speaking, um, I'll do my best to try to, to you know, tie up or whatever you guys need. Um, you have an overflow team. Looks so like it doesn't exceed 42. I also had... You have an overflow team. Looks so it doesn't exceed 42. Yeah, so all teams in the league, um, if that's what you're talking about, um, yeah, I mean, I can't understand you, but basically, all teams that you've got in there, there was about 10 to 15 teams that had more than 42 players, including lone players and all that sort of stuff. They've all been removed, and... Um, and so now the maximum you have will be 42 players. Uh, someone has suggested that maybe I reduce it to like 41. Um, but I have tested with 42 and don't get any crashes. So as long as you don't have uh, exceeded 42, I don't know how you possibly could have done. Uh, maybe if you added players in CM or something. Uh, but yeah, that, that might be why. But I, I could, don't really understand what your problem is, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry. Um because I know a video from YouTube from four or five years ago because what I don't understand what you mean sir oh, Harry can I have link to stadium pack 2 please let the link the link is in the description of this video uh, so if you go to the description you will find it in the description um otherwise let me grab it for you <clears throat> where would i have put that i'm guessing i put it did i put it in there i don't think it's in here i used to put it in here uh where am i going that's the link okay uh, thank you uh, I've already answered about transfers in my career there was such a situation that in winter I took the player for free and the youth scored a lot at the end of the season there were 42 players plus one more and the youth Right, so that shouldn't happen, right? So that sounds like 
yeah that shouldn't happen so what should what you what you have to do is you have to keep your squad under 42 um now what some people what i have seen happen and the game does this and it's actually a bug with the game if you try to sign a player on a free contract and you have a full squad i.e you have 42 players in your team what can happen is is that the the player can be completely deleted now it sounds like you're lucky enough that the player hasn't been deleted because that's even worse when they get deleted because you can never have that player again um but with your youth player you've all you've got to manage your squad so next time you have to keep that number under 42 it's it's like it, unfortunately you've got a situation where the game just can't do what it should do you know it has bugs in it that were never fixed by ea so the problem you have is that you have to do this yourself so um I haven't noticed that issue for a long time, so it could be that you have an, an, an older version of FIFA. Um, if you can update it, try and update it, um, but that might fix it. But yeah, basically, the situation you have is that you've got too many players and you need to manage your squad. So at the end of the season, if you've got two players coming in or a couple of youths, make sure you have the spaces for them and then you shouldn't have that problem. I hope I've answered your question. I hope so. Um, yeah, Turkey League kits name and number, color era, bro. Yeah, every, every with the Turkish. So the Turkish League are on the list of, of things to to fix. Um, because of COVID, I think, and all these things, EA have just done everything so slowly but every update it seems for fifa 21 brings so many changes but they're, they're very vague in what they change so you literally have to go through and have a look and see if they've added this and added that and that's why you get quite popular videos of people showing what's in the next update because ea don't bloody tell anyone um so yeah that's what happens um ages began to fly out Previously, I gave a message that you have exceeded the limit of players. Now it just flies out. Yeah, like I said, um, I should have probably read that just before. Um, like I said, basically, um, it, it's it's a bug in the game. The, the game's bugged out um, and it doesn't know what to do with the players. So, yeah, I'm really sorry that's happening. That's really horrible, but that's a clash with the game. That's a problem with the game, um, I'm afraid. We'll be able to fix the custom scoreboards. So scoreboards are a bit of an issue because th there isn't actually a problem with the scoreboards um, and there isn't actually a problem with any of that stuff actually. Um, the problem actually comes down to computers themselves and what it seems like is some computers just can't handle the graphics that are in the mod. Um, I've tried to do the best I can this this game, funny enough, is far lighter than Fit 14 version 2 was. Um, but in some ways, you know, there's... For some reason, it's lagging more for some people. But I don't know, man. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it. It's The only thing I can suggest is you don't use them, uh, which is a real shame. But as you can see, I don't use them um, because I find that the game just runs so much better without them. So it may not look as good. But actually, it's just better without the scoreboards. Um, there is a chance that I'll make my own scoreboards. Uh, but again, comes down to time. Harry, let's see if I understand. Stadium's not work right now because the mistake that you found. Absolutely. And I didn't found it. Whoever it was that found it, who told me uh, that I had made a mistake. That's why. So yes, they, they're, they're there. You can download it all. You can uh, get it all ready and then I will put a, a note in the community patch and in the Discord and everywhere telling you that it is ready. Once you see that link, it will be ready and it will be fixed. It will be working. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Liga 1 Romania. Um, okay. Yes, hello. Just joined the chat. What did you say about winter transfers? I said they're not ready yet, but they are coming. Um, we've got the team working on it and so on so yeah is it easy to install the update if you go back and watch the video you will be able to there'll be another video that i add later on uh that you'll be able to follow um so unless you guys have any more specific questions you'd like me to answer i'm gonna head off because 
it's quarter to 11 here in England and I have to do work tomorrow so I need to get these databases updated as soon as possible if you have any questions ask me right now otherwise I'm going to end the stream okay model Liga one Romania link the the Casa Liga uh, link is here this one yeah go there download it when you download the mod yeah when you go to version manager where are we go to version manager open this one there, there that one or that one yeah that's what your um that's the mod there that's where you'll be able to do that's where you get it. all of the links every time i post everything it always goes onto this page always that's where you'll get all of the files all right i hope that makes sense cool any crashes in your league and effort cup during cm no my friend there are no crashes um at least there i can't find any um some people have said that there have been some crashes but i haven't found them the, there was one in version 3.01 uh, that's been now fixed and removed. You shouldn't get any any functional clash crashes. There may be the odd crash here and there, but FIFA 14 has always been a little bit like that. Um, Harry, could the theme be causing any lag in game? Yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the theme definitely could. Um, my suggestion to everybody is this, right? If you're having problems with the lag... You can do the replay thing that I just showed earlier on in this video. Or you can go to FIFA 14 folder and you have these two. Now I've left these in there because if you're having real problems with your computer, you should just double click on this and double click on that and it will remove those files. You then go and regenerate and you will no longer have your scoreboards installed. You'll no, no longer have the themes installed and you'll play. And that will take some of the weight off in the game. And what I mean by weight is there's internal memory, right? It leads to loads, the, the kits, the shoes, the, the balls, the player faces and all that sort of stuff. And the mod, as, as you would expect, has far more than FIFA 14 ever had. So, of course, it causes far more strain on on the game and on the, the memory of your computer than the original game would have, you know. So, that's what you could try to do. Um, so, yeah, try that. Um, I hope it helps. Um, just that that's all I can do. And also, if you have any of these files as well, so if you go to FIFA Fit Mods, these files, I will select them now, will cause problems. So, this one, this one this one this one and actually possibly that one um, but yeah and that one those ones that I have selected there if you have any of those installed they will all take a toll on the performance of your game so your best bet is to go through and remove them and out of all of these this one and this one are the two that will have the most performance hits so if you have any of those installed again all you'll have to do is go to your fifa 14 folder and you'll have something like this that tells you which one you can delete and it will say something like delete you know theme or delete x and you just double click on it and it'll get rid of that file you regenerate play and hopefully um your performance issues will just get better and better hope that answers your question um da -da -da. I tried to use my own face back, but I'm having so many players without heads. How do I fix this? So, so how you fix it is two ways you can fix it. So the first thing is if you had a new player uh, face, you go into CM15. And... Go to CM15. Now, if they do have a face, uh, like if you've definitely got one installed, you'll be able to see it in CM15 like this when that's turned off. If they, if you, if it's like this and you've got that selected, 
and the face is there and then you you go to let's go to someone who doesn't have a face like this guy if they have a face when it's set as generic and you do that and they don't have a face you've actually not put the face in the correct file now because of revolution mod any faces that you put in the correct place in these folders so you've got this one this one this one and this one as long as you've got the correct faces in these folders doesn't matter whether this is on or off yeah it makes no difference the faces will show now what problem you may have is if you haven't installed my face pack i will have faces that you don't have probably i will have generic faces you don't have so you have to install these faces this is god and what you want to do what you're going to have to do is if you prefer a face that you have and you want to replace one that i have you're going to have to go do go back and do that um like i said to everybody before when i supply stuff when i give you stuff this is this mod you're not really i'm not supplying it for you guys to do your own edits i'm supplying you a mod and then it's then for you guys to decide what you want to do with it so all i can do is tell you what you have to do uh but install these files make sure you've got all these files that means that everything will work and then if you want to add faces you need to add them on the top of these files yeah because there's a lot you know there's twenty four thousand and 99 face files in there there's a lot of faces and a lot of uh, detail been added so that's the, the i hope that answers your question da, da, da. Uh, no problem at all i've been looking for a good patch like yours for a while i didn't find yours until now wow yeah the uh, yeah the, the biggest uh, thank you very much the the uh, career mode's a big deal you know and um one of the biggest problems you have with career mode is that um people don't know how to do it and that's the only thing that's really hard to teach people is how to do career mode and so what so what that leads to is people like i am studios for example they don't really seem to update the career mode at all but they tend to like update like the teams and stuff like that and that's what happens and it never really changes um, but it also takes a little while to do because you have to test it and this season because of covid and all that stuff all the leagues have changed man you know you had to change every single league it looked i think it was this year crazy but anyway i think that's it i think that's all of the questions you guys have asked um so thank you very much uh for you guys joining it it's really nice to to talk to you guys um yeah i really appreciate it thank you very much and um i hope you enjoy the rest of the mod uh what can i tell you so i'm hoping to sort of kind of release maybe a video a week um something along those lines uh which should give you a clue that it's very likely that there will be more updates uh this coming week uh hopefully by the weekend uh, we it all comes down to the time that i can have uh but i think more than likely it might be one of the extra leagues i might add um but we will see we will see but uh i am working on boots i am working on all of these nice little things and um you're going to have some nice little updates but for now i'm going to get out of here um hope you all have a really nice evening i'm going to fix these databases and i will get them updated and update all the youtubes and everything so you guys know when it's ready all right look after yourselves guys have a nice evening and i will catch you later